Welcome to Tech Brothers Now Mary. In this video, we are going to learn how to stop or restart uh, or start uh, your Azure VM uh, by using Azure Data Factory. So that's very easy. This can uh, be very helpful in many different scenarios. So maybe you are uh, using uh, um, you have tons of uh, VMs and uh, you would like to check their uh, status if they are on. And by every evening, you want to run some pipeline and then uh, shut them down. And uh, then in morning, you want to just turn them down. Or uh, there could be other scenarios where you use these VMs for some specific time and then after the applying the, the loading the data maybe using them for the self-hosted IR or whatnot and then you want to shut them down until the next execution so here are a couple of things which we are going to do here uh, first of all uh, I'm going to show you there is a link right there so virtual machines power off with that link I will put in the description as well so you can see that um, the operation to power off stop a virtual machine the power machine can be restarted with the same provisioning resources that you are still changing the virtual uh, machine you will you are still charged for this virtual machine anyways so this is just uh, there but uh, uh, we can use uh, the web activity and uh, use a post uh, and uh, you know to restart them or uh, power off them so whatever we want to do we have different options for that so I'm using the same links uh, uh, in my video Okay, so first of all, uh, we would like to see the status of uh, our VM. So this is a link you will be using. So it's a management.azure.com. Then you provide your subscription there. And uh, here uh, you have a subscription ID and then a backslash resource group uh, groups. Uh, and then you will be providing the resource group name right here. Okay. And uh, then uh, after that, uh, you will be having providers. And here it says uh, Microsoft Compute. And uh, that is the uh, virtual machines. So this whole thing is come uh, like that as it is and then you will be providing your uh, VM name and then you will say instance uh, of view that means uh, you would like to see all the information of uh, of that uh, virtual machine so I have uh, used the same thing uh, I put my uh, subscription ID here and uh, right after the subscriptions uh, and uh, then uh, I have uh, my research group is called the uh, tech brothers uh, dash RG and uh, I have uh, a VM called the tech brothers of VM and uh, this is the very first uh, statement uh, or actually URL for the uh, web activity what we are gonna do uh, we are gonna use this one in our uh, your data factory so let me show you first that's my VM right there is uh, right now it's a stop state and uh, we are uh, what else we have we have a uh, data factory here so I'm gonna create a new pipeline and in the pipeline uh, I will be using web activity so in the web activity we have this uh, settings and in the settings what we are gonna do so uh, in general I'm gonna actually put that uh, uh, get status okay of VM so that's what it is and in the settings uh, I'm going to paste that URL what we had uh, there so remember that the very first uh, URL so I will post in the uh, description as well so there you are only checking uh, instance view we are not starting or powering off so this is the very first one and this will be hard coded part to it if you don't provide it you're gonna get error so this is a complete URL you have to provide okay so that's uh, this one I just uh, have this guy because I copied from here by just replacing my subscription my resource group and my computer name or VM name now we have provided that and here we are getting the value and then uh, you are gonna use in the authentication uh, what you need to do you need to use a managed identity and uh, here uh, when you will use managed identity then you also have to provide uh, this URL so it's called management dot azure dot com okay so if I will use right here and uh, I can execute now before I uh, if uh, I will execute right now it's not gonna throw me error but before that it was throwing me error because I had not added my Azure Data Factory in the permission so one of the step you have to do you have to create uh, go to the uh, VM and in the VM you're gonna go to the access control and here you are gonna go to the uh, add roles add role assignment and uh, you will be finding a virtual machine uh, contributor so that's uh, what you will select as a role and then hit next and then you are going to go to the manage entity and here you will be selecting your azure data factory name so right here and uh, you will select azure data factory name hit next and you will uh, go assign and uh, 
then you will create it say it failed for me because i already have that so, but you have to add that if you don't add it then your data factory is keep is going to throw you error it does not have permission on this vm so in this case uh, if i will show you that's what uh, it is uh, showing you right there see right there so tech versus adf so that's my azure data factory and that has a permission uh, and uh, the role is called virtual machines contributor that's what i have provided uh, to my data factory as i showed you in this step uh, you will be going to the add role assignments and selecting the role by virtual um, sorry virtual machine contributor and then uh, selecting your uh, azure data factory in the managed entity see right there okay so that's once you are done with that you are good now let's go and execute so we are going to go debug so it got completed let's take a look on the output so it is returning us tons of information it is returning us our output to the vm and uh, it's in uh, version unknown and uh, then it is uh, returning us uh, the disk information about that and uh, the information we are interested is is uh, we are right here okay so we are interested in the status and in the status uh, we are interested in the display status uh, so that's where we are uh, we are gonna uh, go and I'm going to copy this guy here and we will be using this value okay so how we are going to use this uh, value so i will show you now depending on this uh, if we would like to start uh, what we are going to do here we can go and then uh, start the vm if it is stopped so i'm going to get another uh, first of all i will get if statement here now i will connect my web activity to my if condition and in the if condition uh, i'm going to go right here go to activities and here i will provide the expressions so if you guys remember that uh, i have this output right so i have to select what exactly i need so here i need statuses and then uh, under the statuses uh, i need uh, the uh, this uh, display uh, status so where vm is equal to stopped so that's what i'm going to do it okay so now what i will do i will uh, go to the if condition here and add contents uh, go to the get uh, status of vm output dot and remember that i had copy this uh, so i'm going to just use uh, so i don't make mistake and here uh, in these statuses uh, i will be uh, right there paste and then uh, i'm going to the use the second uh, status uh, because there are multiple uh, uh, output statuses comes through this uh, uh, right there so i need this guy okay i don't need this i i am fine i am going to select this uh, so this is a statuses uh, if i do uh, statuses and in the parentheses i will do the zero that means uh, i'm looking for this guy but i'm looking for this uh, so i have to do status one okay status is one dot uh, display okay that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna copy this guy and uh, uh, let me go back here and paste it okay so what i'm saying here uh, at the rate uh, here i'm going to check this okay so at the rate equal equals and then parentheses and then uh, i'm going to check for what value i'm going to provide that value and we are looking for that value is a vm stopped if the vm stopped we would like uh, to restart or start and then uh, that's what i'm going to provide right there okay and uh, we should be all good here let's see what we have there invalid uh, parenthesis okay right there sorry okay so that's the equation or that's the expressions i'm passing so i will put that in the uh, description as well so you can copy and paste okay now we are all good here and uh, what we want to do in case of true if it is true if our vm is uh, stopped we would like to start right so i'm going to click right there and uh, let me copy the same statement uh, actually web activity and i will make some changes there okay now i will go to the if and uh, in the case of true that means if it is stopped i would like to start so i'm going to paste this one and uh, here i'm say start my vm and go to settings and in the settings remember the url we have there is nothing uh, really uh, when it comes to the changes the only thing you are going to change is uh, inst instead of saying instance view you are going to say start that's all you are going to say here and then instead of get you will say post and in the body you will put parentheses and close parentheses so this is just a closing and 
uh, opening and closing curly parentheses and the uh, rest of that should be just fine as it is for now now we are going to make the copy of this and uh, go to another one so in case uh, if i would like to stop my vm okay let's play with this one first okay so we are checking here if our vm is stop then it is going to go to true and it's going to start our vm so let's debug and uh, this uh, first part is completed now it's going to the if and uh, starting my vm so if i go right back here and uh, go to the status of my vm right there and uh, you can see let's say refresh and you now you can say, see that it is a running so it has started so you if you refresh this is still in process but it has restarted the vm once it's completed it's gonna okay so it's completed so you can see that now our vm is running right now what happened here if we go right here and in the statuses you see that uh, this was returned and that's how our uh, if condition got this value and say oh okay this is true the expression is equal to the vm stop now i need to go to the next activity that is this guy and that is starting our vm so if you see right here start now in case of our vm is started and we would like to stop it so i'm i can copy the same uh, web activity here and go to the false so it means uh, the first condition is going to check our uh, if vm is started right so power of my vm okay and in the settings uh, i don't have to do anything really i just have to go all the way at the end and say power off where it says start right because the rest of the every uh, everything is going to be same like our subscription our resource group and everything and here i will say power off okay that's it so now as uh, this uh, web activity is going to run uh, it's going to get some value for the status and uh, that value is not going to be equal to the vm stopped then it's going to be false and it's going to go there and it's going to uh, work on uh, starting our vm so that's how you will uh, do that now in my logic what i'm doing i'm checking if it, the vm is uh, stopped it will start if the vm is running it will just uh, turn it uh, off so in your case uh, you probably i don't know there could be many logics you will be playing maybe you will be always will be check in if it is uh, uh, not running you always turn it on that's what you will do but in my case i'm playing with the both things so if you go right here now it was running and uh, our uh, program is going to stop it so if we as we said that now it uh, if the condition see it is right there and uh, it got this value vm running last time when uh, it, we ran it and it was uh, said oh vm is running it means uh, our if condition is a uh, of uh, set to false and uh, then uh, it's going to go to the power of uh, uh, web activity right there okay so that's how it is so now our vm is running and if i re-execute this pipeline it's going to shut it down so right now is uh, sorry it is stop right now and the uh, next time if i will rerun uh, it's going to go ahead and uh, start my vm so these are the commands that what or uh, these are the uh, uh, links uh, you will be using now uh, so same link in the web activity you will use all the way and and here if you want to get the information you will say instance view if you want to start you will say start if you want to re shut down you will say power off you know rest of that subscription has to be there your resource group has to be there and the name of the vm has to be there and uh, you have seen that uh, to get the information you will use get method in the web activity otherwise uh, for both of starting and power off you will use post and uh, this uh, information will go in the resource at the end of their web activity remember that our vm was stopped now we executed this uh, activity it found out like oh it is stopped right there it found it like vm is stopped now our if condition expressions are going to be true and then uh, depending on that uh, like if it is true then it's going to go to this guy and uh, this has a start so that's what it has right here right so it's going to start our vm so if i refresh this button now i'm going to see my vm is running all right so you can do tons of things uh, maybe here uh, let's say you get the list of the vms first uh, and uh, maybe you use a lookup or something uh, to get the list of the vms uh, from your saved uh, information and then uh, go uh, through each of vm and shut them down you know by maybe in the evening or something like that when you don't need them 
and uh, then you can also send them email let's say you want to check uh, on all the vms uh, and uh, uh, get status uh, as we did here and uh, keep sending email if any vm is down you can always send a notification or something like that so i hope this video will help i will put all these links uh, what i have used here in the description uh, so you can use it thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video